सरसों का साग मकई की रोटी हाई वेलकम टू संजीव कपूर खजाना आई एम रूपा यो आई एम गोट टू शो यू अ स्पेशलिटी ऑफ द नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड इट्स डन द सीजन वन द मस्टर्ड इज इन प्लेंटी सो इट्स कॉल्ड एज सरसों का साग एंड मकई की रोटी सो लेट्स गो अड एंड लुक एट द इनग्रीडियंट्स वी हैव मस्टर्ड लीव्स विच आर अबेंडेंस इन द सीजन ऑफ जैन एंड फेब दे आर चॉप्ड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू कप्स पालक ड्राइड चिलीज बटर जिंजर गार्लिक ग्रीन चिली पेस्ट घी सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट मेज फ्लावर प्लेन फ्लावर अजवैन चिली पाउडर बेसन लेट्स गो अहेड एंड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग दिस रेसिपी द सरसो टेक्स अ लिटल लॉन्गर टाइम टू कुक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट बॉइलिंग द सरसो सो दैट इट गोज नाइस एंड सॉफ्ट सो लेट्स एड द ग्रीन्स एंड पुट दैम फॉर बॉइल सो टेक द सरसो which is washed and cleaned and chopped at the palak or the spinach add about 2 cups of water and put it for boiling the sarso is boiling for 10 minutes and is gone a little soft at this stage we will drain it out so that we can stir it with the masala and continue with the cooking process so let's drain it out after draining keep this water that is drained out we are going to use this later because we have to adjust the consistency of the saag it has to be a little semi thick so when we require we won't add the water but we'll all add this like a stock to the cooking vegetable let's keep this aside in a bowl the drain one okay the greens that we have drained them let's try and mash them up a little before putting it in the masala so either you can don't try to put it in the mixi because we don't want it to get into a puree form so just try and mash it with a masher roughly mash it and keep it aside till we take a wok or a pan for cooking put it on flame once it gets nice and hot take the ghee about 2 tablespoons we'll require the rest for our rotis once the ghee is hot take around 2 to 3 dried red chilies break them into not very small pieces but approximately a inch piece and put them into the hot ghee give it a mix once they start crackling add the ginger garlic and the green chili paste and stir it till a nice aroma is lifted nicely fry the paste for about a minute in the ghee because this is the only flavor that's going in the saag so i don't want the rawness to be there of the ginger garlic so see that you nicely fry it once a nice aroma is lifted take the mashed greens and add to the frying masala fry the greens the greens have been frying as you can see and the water that we had reserved start adding it little by little don't add all of it because we want the greens to cook on very simmer and to go very nice and soft with the masala the greens are cooking so adjust the stock or the reserved water that we have taken out and cover and simmer and cook for about 5 to 10 minutes okay the sarso is cooking let's add salt go a little low on the salt because we'll be adding butter to it also 
cover and cook again for two minutes. We'll cook it for two minutes. Until then, we will just dry roast the basin and add it to the remaining of the drained liquid and try to thicken the sag as it's cooking. So let's keep this aside on a little low flame here and take a nice tempering bowl. Once the bowl is nice and hot, as I said, I'm just taking some basin for thick thickening, but you can even add the maize flour for it. I prefer the basin. So take a tablespoon of it and just roast it dry till the rawness of the flour is, or you can smell the roasting of the flour. Till then on simmer, just roast it. Do it on very low flame because we don't want the flour to burn out, but we just want to get out the rawness of the chana dal in it. Once you can smell the roasting, add it to the remaining reserve of the water that we have kept aside. Just roughly mix it, get back the cooking saag and add that to the cooking mustard and the palak. This is just done to get together the vegetable and we'll just thicken out the vegetable. Just mix it well, cover and cook for a minute. The saag is cooking. Let's make the dough for the makai ka roti. Take the makai atta or the maize flour, add the plain flour, season it with little salt, add little chilli powder for taste and some ajwain or the carom seeds. Take the water and just mix it into a nice dough. You can even use a little warm water. It helps in the dough to go a little soft. Make a nice soft dough and keep it aside. This doesn't require resting period. So we'll immediately start making it into rotis. Let's keep it aside till the saag is being done. So check on the saag. Yeah, the saag is done as you can see. We'll just finish it with butter. You can use even white butter, it tastes better. Just give a, a dollop of butter and just let it melt into the saag. Yeah, the saag is done. Let's keep it aside till we make our rotis. For the rotis, we've made the dough and kept and we've kept a tawa or a flat uh, plate for making the rotis. Put it on gas, take a small just wet your hands. Make it into a nice ball. Dust the board. And just pat it. The dough dries out very fast because it's maize. So you have to just wet your hands and just keep on patting it till it flattens out into a nice, not very thin disc. Just lift it. It should be this size and it should be this thick. Just put it on the girdle for cooking and let it cook on either side for a minute or so. It's cooked on one side, so let's flip it and let's cook it on the other side. Cook it on low flame till we do the other roti. Cook it till the nice marks are coming over it. At this point, drizzle it with ghee. On 
on the other sides also when the mark comes drizzle it with ghee and take it out on the plate once it's nicely done with the nice golden marks on either side Okay the saag is ready and the roti is also ready let's take it out for serving just add a little butter as i said if white butter is there the homemade it tastes amazing with it the sarso ka saag with the makkai ki roti is ready as you can see I've served it with a nice glop of butter. The white butter which is homemade gives amazing taste to it. You can always serve it with nice achar and it's a awesome meal and as long as it's in the season I think you should try it.